Hello friends, welcome back to Handmade Now Hallmark, Amanda here. Today I've got this somewhat simple die cut card featuring some really cute dies from Hello Bluebird and a pretty somewhat simple design. The main focus of this card are the die cuts and um, I really think the simplicity of this card really helps those die cuts shine and the coloring as well. So I hope you enjoy. Today I'm using the Jack dies from Hello Bluebird. This is a really fun set um, because you can use it for either Halloween or for fall. And I decided to use it in a fall card. Whenever I got this set, I knew I just had to color in these pumpkins and really make them unique and different. So I die cut all of the pumpkins and all of their stems and I'm gonna color them in with my Copic markers. This is the main focus of the card. So I wanted to make sure I got all of the coloring finished with this first. Again, these pumpkins can be colored any way that you like with any color medium. I think they'd be really neat water colored and um, maybe done with colored pencils as well. I think it'll be a really fun look. I'm going to put on some music while the coloring's going on. Once we're all finished, we'll come back and finish up the card together. All of the colors that I use will be in the description and on screen. What's 
left to wait for you My eyes are asleep I miss you Bet you're feeling all alone That big house by the lake This evening The days here I come to bleach Oh honey, I need you to hold me Once I was all finished with the coloring, I can go ahead and assemble my pumpkins. This is kind of a mix and match. You can add the stems to any of the pumpkins that you like. I figured the larger stems went with the larger pumpkins and smaller with the smaller. So again, you could do this any way that you like. Um, I really enjoyed coloring these. I love all the different colors that pumpkins and gourds come in. I think it's a really fun way to play with your Copics or whatever color meeting you have and really kind of just play with the fall colors and find which ones you like the best. I'm just using some Barely Art adhesive here to adhere all of the stems to the pumpkins. I got a new bottle and I made sure that I have a uh, like a stainless steel pin so that hopefully that'll help with the mildew issue that I had the last time. I just love assembling these. It was so easy. And this Barely Art adhesive glue adheres pretty quickly, so you don't have to worry about um, the stems shifting around a whole lot because it does hold on pretty quickly. Next, I'm going to work on my greeting. I have the Thankful die from Simon Says Stamp. I believe this is a CZ Designs um, die from Simon. And what I did was is I cut out the shadow three times from some brown cardstock. This is just another bit from my scrap bin. I'm trying to use up as many of my scraps before I start using my full sheets of cardstock. And I'm going to stack all three of those up. And then I also cut out the thankful portion out of some gold cardstock. I believe this gold cardstock comes from... Yep, it comes from Perfect Craft Tonic Studios. It's their gold hearted mixed cardstock collection. There's a whole variety of different kinds of gold cardstock. And this was just one of the ones from that paper pack. I'm gonna use that Barely Art Adhesive again, and I'm just stacking up those, um, the shadow cutouts there to create a nice dimensional um, die cut. And there's, it's nice because this is a, a mostly die cut card. There's only a tiny bit of stamping, which you could totally do without. Um, you could just leave it say thankful and then just write a greeting on the inside. Um, but I wanted to add a secondary greeting because I wanted to add just a little bit of like a, a maroon colored red. So that's what that other um, pattern paper was. And I got my pattern papers from the um, six by six paper pack from Cartabella. It's their Hello Autumn. Um, I'm not sure if this one in particular is available, but there are a ton of uh, fall pattern paper packs out on the market. So you could choose any that you like, or you could use a, a red cardstock, or you could ink blend something. But I had this and I really liked the color and I felt like it worked out well. I'm just going to stamp that down with some Versafine on it, or excuse me, Versamark. I always get them confused. And I'm going to heat emboss with some Brutus Monroe Alabaster White Embossing Powder. And that stamp set that I'm using is the Real Leaves stamp set from Simon Says Stamp. I'm going to hit that with my heat gun, and then I'm going to cut it out with just a flag banner die from my stash. You could do anything you like to cut this out. I really like the flag banner because I wanted to add some embellishments um, a little bit later just to kind of tie it all together. So that background um, piece of cardstock that is cut with the scalloped frame, um, that is also from the same paper pack. And then this oval is just cut from some Nina Desert Storm cardstock. I thought about adding some interest or some distressing around the edges, but I really liked keeping it kind of simple, just sticking with die cuts. I didn't want to bring out any of my inks or anything like that. Um, I wanted to, like I said, keep it kind of simple. And this card only took me, I'm going to say roughly like, I'm going to say 30, maybe 40 minutes just because of the coloring. Um, but it was a really nice, quick, simple card. Um, I think this would be fun to do a whole bunch of pumpkins and create maybe some um, 
like uh, name plates or to something like that for Thanksgiving. I think that would be kind of cool, um, like place card holders or, you know, put a group of them together and then put somebody's name across them. I think that would be a fun idea. So I'm just adhering down my pumpkins with some of the Barely Art Adhesive flat to the card panel. And then I'm popping a few up with some Scrapbook 3, um, uh, 3D adhesives. And um, I really love the layout of this. Um, I love the colors together. I especially love the cream colored and the green pumpkins. I discovered this color combination with my first card for my um, fall cards for this year. And I just loved it so much. But I do have to refill my markers, unfortunately. <laughs> I've used them so much that they're starting to run completely dry. Once I had all my pumpkins adhered, I'm going to adhere my main greeting that says thankful. And I just love how that looks. And I'm going to pop up that uh, banner as well with some Doris 3M foam strips. I'm going to get that adhered. And then I'm going to add some finishing details. I love the red on this, the nice pop of red. I really think it goes well together. So my finishing details is I'm going to take my white gel pen. I believe this was a number eight jelly roll pen. I think there's three out on the market. You can get a number 10, which is the thickest. Number eight is the kind of the medium size. And then I think a five is the smallest. And I just wanted to add a little bit of highlight to these pumpkins just to give them some character and maybe a little bit more dimension. Again, this is a completely optional step. This would be cute as a Halloween card as well. If you did a whole pile of pumpkins and then gave them all like jack-o'-lantern faces. Because the die does, the die set comes with um, jack-o'-lantern faces that you can die cut and stick on top. I think that would be a really cute card. Maybe doing like a slimline card and having them kind of stacking on top of each other as they go up like a big pile of pumpkins. And then have like a nice Halloween greeting, like kind of like a pumpkin tree. I think that would be cool. I'm also going to go in and add a little bit of sparkle with my aqua shimmer pen from Nouveau. Completely optional step. You don't have to add shimmer, but it wouldn't be a fun card without a little bit of sparkle. And then one of the last things that I am going to do is I'm going to add a couple of clay hearts to the greeting just to kind of balance it out a little bit. I felt like maybe I didn't get it cut quite even. So I just have some clay heart embellishments. I'm not 100% sure where these ones came from, but there are a ton out there. I'll make sure to link to something similar. And I'm just going to hear it on either side of that greeting. And I really think it kind of rounds it out and adds just a little bit more white to the card. Get that all lined up. And I just love these little white hearts. I think they look perfect. And then once I had that all adhered, I'm going to adhere my panel down to a um, an A2 sized card face that is white and then I just adhered a piece of brown cardstock on top of it because I wanted to add a little bit more brown in just to kind of bring in some more brown from the main greeting. I'm going to use that same Barely Art adhesive to adhere that down and that will finish this card for today. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider hitting the like button to let YouTube know you're enjoying my content and also hit consider hitting the subscribe as well so you don't miss out on any more videos here at my YouTube channel. I really do appreciate you stopping by to watch me create this fun die cut card featuring some great products from Simon Says and Hello Bluebird. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and I'll catch you again real soon. Bye! I've got a few videos that I think you'll enjoy. Consider hitting the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more videos at my YouTube channel.